Welcome to the Energy Healing Podcast with Dr. Katharina, the podcast to bring you energy healing techniques, insights from a medical intuitive and consciousness raising methods, all tied together to help you change your energy and heal your life. Hello and welcome to episode number 13, Heal Your Ancestors to Heal Yourself. In this episode, you will learn how you are energetically connected to your ancestors and why this matters, how trauma gets passed down the generations and how it affects you up to this day, how you can change your epigenetic readout by healing your ancestors, and finally, how to energetically heal your ancestral lineage. So I'm Dr. Katharina and I do medical intuitive readings and also energetic healings and intuitive readings. And often people come to me with problems that they are unable to solve and something that they have had for a long time and they don't know where it even uh, stems from. It can be a physical issue that never resolves or it can be a pattern of behavior that is very hard to change or it can be something like not being able to find love or have financial difficulties. And when I do my energy readings, what I always take a look into is I'll take a look into how does the energy actually flow from the ancestors to my clients. Now, why is this important? You are not an isolated being. You are connected energetically to your ancestors. And the quality of this energetic connection can really determine how you feel emotionally, physically, how much success you have in life, can even go down to your relationship and your finances. So why is this? I want you to understand that ideally the energy flows from one generation to the next. So you're getting ideally in an idyllic world, uh, ideal world, you're getting the blessings from your ancestors and you are free to live your life. But often what happens when there's trauma in the lineage and this energy gets disturbed and you also get the so-called negative traits from them, the trauma energy from them, and that can affect you negatively. So before I go into this, let's take a look into how actually the energy should flow from one generation to the next. So I want you to um, imagine that the ancestors stand behind you. Yeah. And on the left side, that's your female lineage. So on the left side behind you is your mother and to the right behind you is your dad. And then their parents also stand behind them. Yeah. And so it goes down the generation and ideally the energy flows from your ancestors to you. And then you have a good life, you have good energy, you have love in your life and success. Yeah? But as I said before, when there is trauma that has not been resolved in the lineage of your um, ancestors, that trauma energy actually gets passed down the generations. Trauma is like a disturbance of the natural flow of energy. Yeah, That's how I see it energetically. And the interesting thing is that there's also a very physical component to it because there's something that's called epigenetic, which is a scientific term and you probably have heard about it before. But basically it explains how your genes are read. So the expression of your genes, which genes do get expressed, the so-called good ones, the life-affirming ones, or the ones that can give you cancer. Yeah. That's epigenetic um, readout. Now, when there is trauma in the generations, this epigenetic readout can be changed. And now you can be more susceptible to specific illnesses. 
but you can also be more susceptible to um, mental illnesses, yeah, depression or anxiety and so forth. And I do believe it also goes even further that it can impact how how much success you have, how much money you have, and how how good your relationships are. Yeah. So that's important to understand that the genes themselves, they usually do not get changed through trauma in the lineage. And in fact, only 1% of all illnesses that we know of are directly related to a faulty gene. Yeah? But it's the epigenetic readout that is disturbed. And the interesting thing, I do think it's interesting, is I'm from Europe and um, we have something here which is called family constellations, which is an entire system of healing that deals actually with the ancestors and making sure the trauma in your lineage is cleared so that you can be healthy and happy. This method of healing was developed because of all the war trauma we had in Europe from um, the World War II. And um, war, of course, war trauma is very, very bad because in war we have a lot of victims, we have a lot of perpetrators. And I want you to understand like war trauma is like a big wave, a, a wave of trauma that flows from the ancestors into you. Huh? And usually the, the flow is, it becomes less and less. Yeah, which each generation, but I've had it multiple times that people I've worked with that what they were struggling with was actually directly connected to specific war trauma from their ancestors that their ancestors experienced. Yeah, and it can be on both sides. It can be the ancestor can have been the victim or the perpetrator. When there's a victim and a perpetrator energy, that energy usually in some ways also manifests then within the next generation. The Native Americans know about the importance of sending good blessings to their ancestors and that's what they do. And it's not just that they do this because they're nice people. I believe that they also do this because they know when they send the blessings to the ancestors, they will in turn also uh, receive their good energy back. Now the good news is here that you can also heal your ancestral lineage. And by doing so, you can also change your epigenetic readout. And in fact, I've done this multiple times with my clients that once we helped heal the ancestral lineage, suddenly things started to change for them. Sometimes their health returned. Sometimes they found love or sometimes they um, had su suddenly success in the business. And this was all because now we cleared and healed the the energy, the quality of the energy that that um, flows from one generation to the next. And then my clients were free to live their life. Now I have a question for you. How much do you actually know about your ancestors? Do you know their history? Do you know... Um, what their job was, what they worked, or what the trials and tribulations were. So in case you don't know much about them, don't worry. You still can heal your ancestors and start the healing process. Of course, it's great if you have an idea of what type of lives your ancestors um, had and um, what they went through. So that makes it a little bit easier usually, but it's not completely necessary. Because you can also help heal your ancestral lineage by sending good energy to them. Now, how do you do this? How do you actually start healing your ancestral lineage? It all starts with the intention. Yeah, they go, always the intention is so important because um, I think when you set an intention before you do something like this, where you really visual about, visualize the outcome, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to heal, and you visualize the outcome of what you want to achieve, and then you wait a little bit until you can feel it, that's really when you can basically supercharge, supercharge your healing. 
But the way I would do is if I had no um, means of knowing where actually mm, the trauma is or what I need to heal, then what I would suggest you do is that you get into a comfortable space. You can play some good music, some relaxing music in the background. And then you close your eyes. You would set the intention. You want to connect to your ancestors. You want to actually heal that trauma that still affects you to up to this day, even if you don't know about what it is exactly. And then when you're very intuitive or when you're just a little bit intuitive, it can work as well. But don't worry, if you're not intuitive at all, I still will tell you how to do it. But basically, if you feel like you're intuitive, you can also try to actually feel into it. You could visualize that there is a line of people basically to your left and to your right behind you. Yeah, your female and your, oh, it's called actually the maternal and the paternal lineage. Yeah, And you feel into it. Maybe you get a sense, where is the energy stuck? Is this something that doesn't feel right? If you know your ancestors or you, or even if you don't know, you still can connect to them. You can think about them. How is it actually, um, what are your feelings? Excuse me. What are you feeling when you're tuning into them? Do you get a good sense or do you get a sense of sadness or fear or anxiety? Whatever it is, just notice it. And you can start, for example, start with one lineage. Start with the maternal lineage, for example. Yeah. And if you get a vague sense, that's already enough. Now, if you don't get anything, don't worry, because the energy of unconditional love can heal everything, right? It's a very, very, very high vibration that knows what to do, what to heal and how to heal it. So you and your conscious mind, you don't have to necessarily know exactly what, what happened in order to heal it. And now for the healing itself, let's say you start with the maternal lineage. And even if you don't have any idea who you're healing, you're just directing it into the entire lineage. But if you have a specific person, you can think about that person. But what I want you to do is, how you would do this is you start by just focusing on your heart. And you're trying to get in touch with a sense of love. You could even think about a specific person if that helps you or an animal, whatever it is, but it's all about you feeling it, feeling love. Yeah? And you do this for a while. And when you can feel it, that energy of love, then I want you to imagine that this energy of love flows into your lineage or if, or maybe to a specific person in your lineage. Yeah. If you had got some intuitive fits before, you can do that. But if not, allow that energy to flow into the lineage. And I say allowing on purpose because it's not something that you do with your willpower. It won't work like that. Healing is a very passive passive activity actually is where you allow things to happen if you want to you can even visualize a color that represents the energy of unconditional love for you in, and you allow it to flow into the lineage with that color with your intention you send your ancestors the energy of unconditional love with intention to heal trauma with the intention to heal the good flow of energy that then will also be returned to you or even into your children right because it also um, flows of course from you into your children and you do this until it feels good and complete and maybe it takes five minutes maybe it takes 15 minutes or even longer it doesn't really matter but i want you to know that you because you are connected to your ancestors. 
you can feel them. You can feel the energy. And you will also know when it's done and complete. Huh? So never under underestimate your intuition. We are all intuitive. It's just a matter of tuning into it, feeling into it, and trusting it. Yeah? And then maybe the next days you do it for your paternal lineage. That's also something I suggest. Now, the other thing that is really helpful when it comes to healing your ancestral lineage is, is having some type of ritual. For example, what you could do is you could, if you have a picture of, of your ancestors or, or many pictures, you just put them up and light a candle or put nice flowers next to the pictures and just send them good energy. It's all about you blessing them and thanking them. And also, and this is very, really important, showing respect for them. Yeah, It doesn't have to be a picture. It can really be anything. You could plant a flower or a tree in the name or paint a picture. It, it really doesn't matter. You can really be creative here. It's about the intention that you have when you do this. And the intention is really to send your a keep to keep sending your your ancestors blessings and to also show respect for them. And these little things, these little rituals, they can make a huge impact in our lives. As I said before, we in the West we have forgotten that we are connected. Well, we often experience ourselves as isolated beings, but when in fact we are connected to each other and especially to our lineage, to the energy of our lineage. And if this is a topic that interests you, I've also done a group energy healing in the past to heal your ancestral lineage. And I'm going to uh, leave the link in the description of this podcast episode below. And speaking of this, I also do have a YouTube channel where I regularly host free group healing events and they are becoming popular so maybe you want to join as well it's free to join and it's usually really nice to connect to the group energy and i'm also going to post the link below and then finally if you are interested in a personal healing session with me please feel free to contact me well this is it for today thank you so much for listening until soon much love and bye bye Thank you for listening to the Energy Healing Podcast with Dr. Katerina at www.drkaterina.com.